eBay strikes again one last time before the end of 2022 with a collaborative fine under retail. That's right, the Adidas Ultra Boost undefeated stars and stripes. Now this officially released May 24th in 2019 for a retail price of 180. However, I paid 110 and yes, this went through eBay authentication. Right at the box, you'll notice a very clean, crisp, simple Ultra Boost with a white upper, but Undefeated definitely adds their mark on each individual shoe. When it comes to the Adidas Ultra Boost stars and stripes with Undefeated, they did just enough, not too much, just like this video. Okay, looking straight on at the sneaker, you can clearly see that one has red detailing, one has blue. That's right, we have the all white prime knit upper for the Ultra Boost sneaker, but on the right, we have the undefeated logo, the tally marks in red, and on the other shoe, we have blue. We have the American flag on the back heel tab, and that's really it in terms of standing out. Now we have this all white outsole. Yes, that'll get dirty. It happens because I wear my shoes. We have a white base for the insole, undefeated, rather large on top, just above other texts. And the tongue will also have 3M detailing visible here with the flash on. Because an Ultra Boost pair fits so snug, I was actually able to go up to a men's seven and it will still fit quite well. That is one thing I appreciate about the snug collar of any Ultra Boost pair. Although it is branded stars and stripes, I fully believe you can get away wearing this shoe any time of the year, not just the holiday in terms of July. Change is the one true constant, even in sneakers, your style, your appreciation for models, different tech will evolve. I hope it evolves to allow you to experience some amazing pairs. That's exactly what happened with myself and the Adidas Ultra Boost. The only downside, I now judge so many other pairs in terms of comfort by them. I'll be honest, it's a little bittersweet, really loving Ultra Boost, diving into it now, because I judge every other shoe's comfort by what I feel whenever I'm in an Ultra Boost pair. Now, originally the 1.0s, they bottomed out a little too much for me, but I'm also not sure if that had to do with one of the pairs being the original pairs that came out and also grade school. But when it comes to these, they fit amazingly well. So again, I went up to a men's seven, I'm a true men six, but a six, six and a half or seven all would have worked with the Ultra Boost just because the collar offers a tight fit. Overall comfort, you really can't top an Ultra Boost. I've said that before in the past. Yes, it edges out everything else in terms of comfort. And I like that you can style these in an athleisure way, or you could even go ahead and throw on a pair of denim. Now I wouldn't do oversized denim. I think tapered denim works best, especially a distressed look. I don't really care, it's 2022, and I intend to wear these a lot. Okay, I'll say this, the one drawback for me on the Stars and Stripes Ultra Boost, I love them. And they would go so well with a number of different USA Olympic things I own, except those are all Nike because they're based on the actual Olympic event, and Nike sponsors all of our teams. But there are still three very casual and laid back ways. I'll show you how I choose to style this pair. All right, starting left to right, Valiant Pursuit, red dad hat, and the Adjust Your Focus crew neck. I'm wearing a size small in the crew. And then Street Market Supply shorts in the cream and blue. All right, for the second look here in the middle, Supreme New York Tee, type font, medium in the gray colorway, the Adidas beanie on top, just straight pull down style in gray, the Nautica men's medium jacket in a bright red color, the minimal everyday nylon pants in black. I wear these a lot to finish off an easy fit. And finally on the right, who remembers this amazing care package by Lid? So I'm wearing the Indianapolis Clowns jersey, number five, size medium, and then also the fitted hat. And yes, I use my $6 hack to get this size seven to fit a little better. The Fear of God first collection, longer style tee in the white, and then finally super distressed denim to finish it all off. All casual, all comfortable. Yes, each look will incorporate red and blue in some way, but you don't have to if you really just want to go black bottom, black tee in a denim jacket, you could do that. Maybe then if you want to throw on a red hat, a blue hat or a white one, you could do the same to rock this pair. 
video didn't need anything extensive for it. I mean, listen, it's one of the best bargain pickups I've had in 2022. And that actually happens for a lot of the different pairs I get that are steals. They don't hold a whole lot of hype whatsoever if they ever did. And they're easily accessible to me on eBay. But in terms of undefeated, this wasn't the first ultra boost with Adidas. They did a black on white pair. They did a white on black pair. They did a black on black pair, but this one stood out the most to me. I may still go back for a true triple white ultra boost sneaker sometime in the future maybe you know perfect for spring and for summer but i really appreciate this pair now in terms of undefeated having been around since 2002 you have no limitation really in terms of picking i think uh, a preference in terms of the collaborative pairs they've done so go ahead and comment below which of the undefeated collaborations they've done um, in their time has been your favorite i really still want the kobe i really still want the kobe camo pair so i've had that on the channel before as like a wish list uh favorite of mine and don't be surprised if i go back forward in 2023 even though i do intend to use a lot more discernment in the new year that pair has just lived in my mind right free for a very long time but i appreciate you guys tuning into this video one of the last few unboxings on the channel i'm just waiting now for the orange lobster to arrive and then i'll get that out for you guys hopefully before we close out 2022 as always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.